Bonjour and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the um, infamous Rise of the Robots run. Only uh, the only allowed um, operatives are PsyOps and uh, the Templar plus a couple of Sparks. Perfect for a bit of a change of pace. I would need to get going on the spark soon and the psyops elsewhere it's is no longer a rush strategy but you know how it is so um, we're uh, we're eventually uh, going to get there for now we're going to do operation shadow hole which will get us that second engineer that we are looking for plus intel and we will mainly fight against the loss but I can probably almost guarantee you that there is some advent in there as well. So, whom are we going to take on this mission? Of course, Hogbite, that's not even a question. And we're going to take the same team as the last time. Everybody has their guns. We got a superior repeater the last time. Nah, I'm saving that for now. Once we get gun upgrades, we're going to put it uh, on another gun. For now it is fine. And we're hopping right into the action, guys. And guess what? We just landed, boys. So... The thing with uh, these missions is, as you can see, there's a VIP, there is the exit zone, but we already see that there and there are our additional resources. And one of our prime objectives will be to free set resources so that we do have additional firepower. can guarantee you though that there will be quite a few losses in the way. Get it done. I've got enemy movement here. Yep, yeah. and luckily for us as well there are a couple of advents. Uh, both will fight with one another as long as we're not revealed. The moment that we're revealed they come to the conclusion that it is best to just gang up on us and will probably fight against us. What a nice map. I really like the design of it. Haven't fought in that particular environment yet and that will mean something because I've fought in almost any tile environment. All right, we're taking a careful approach. Advent triggers uh, the losts and both of them will now run into one another, mercilessly slaughtering each other. Yeah, even more losts in here. Now it's the losts turn. And, you know, for all I'm concerned... To victory. The elders have a patrol here. I am totally fine with staying out of this conflict as long as humanly possible. Agreed. So we're positioning ourselves nicely there. And let them duke it out. Good to go. Yeah, whilst we are just staying in secure cover. Overwatch it is. The disadvantage of this strategy, of course, is the very moment that one of uh, the two factions is going down the other one is fully activated uh, this is um, a mass battle so to speak it's a royal rumble and the moment that 
these guys here are done every everyone on the map every single lost is going to be activated and also all of the advents and this advent here in particular seems to be on a roll he just killed the entire team fortunately needs to reload afterwards So much for him being on a roll. I would say we're just continuing our nice little observation. There are still a few more losts. Okay, it seems at this point that Advent is having the slight better setup. Oh, there's yet another Advent pack, okay. They seem to, have, uh, they seem to be having the upper hand. I would still let it just run its natural course. That sector it might be in trouble. So is the stun lancer. More losses are coming in. Yeah, and this uh, one is going for the advent still okay I'll lead the way. all right so moving up moving out. so this sector it seemed to have been falling back somehow at least I can't see him anymore. Closing on target position now. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Good, very good. That sector it needed to reload. But is ready to go again. And seems to clean house. Holy shit, he's definitely cleaning house. All right. So close. So if we were to hit them with a grenade. That would kill almost all of them immediately. So let's see. I would like to <coughs> throw the grenade just a tiny bit further. I 
unfortunately that seems to be the further uh, furthest uh, they would go but wait a second they are already triggered right right so this here should not force them to move any further except that I forgot that there was still overwatch involved good we got another soldier by the way all right that's a three for a good old three for one We do have another soldier on our side and there's a potential further soldier down there. Good. Hawkbite needs to slowly but surely. Get his focus up. Which is what we are doing right here. Still got momentum to move away. Excuse uh, 6 is going to move into a great position. Let's kill 2 for 1 with another grenade. That also triggers another Lost Swarm, which is exactly what we can uh, use right now. Alright, moving into full cover and let's try to get that sectored. Didn't work out, which is still fine. I know that there was another stun lancer, oh, but that stun lancer just ran to here, so we should be okay. It's only two more sectors and we can deal with them. Good. For now it's one overwatch and that's pretty much it. No one is standing in the open. That's also what the sector finally understands. And he's trying to get another corpse going. Okay, cool. Now, unfortunately for them, a horde of losts has just appeared from right behind them. And that is going to hurt. Okay. Let's start with cleaning the house. Eh, the Desher, that's not a 100% kill. I don't want to take anything less than 100% shot. Alright, moving over. Let's try to get these guys down. Problem with the four hit point targets is there's not a hundred percent um, secure kill chance. We're going to keep that grenade. And I would like to kill the sector here, so we gotta soften it up. Oops, 
My bad. Let's try to get some of the dashers down. I'm running low on ammo. I'd like to get into the high ground, but for now... We're just creating this kill zone here. Alright, 100% kill because we do have the stock. If we were to go cl any closer, that would mean we're making ourselves the primary target and I'm not 100% comfortable with that. So instead we're going to fall just a tiny bit back. Good, we're going to keep him for now. I mentioned a bit earlier that we want to prime the sector, and that's exactly what we're going to do. There's the hit. And this here would be the secured kill. With it, we're going to get just a bit more agency. Hmm. I'm wondering if this here would be a good position. <coughs> Probably too aggressive. So instead, let's go back in and out. That's what Hogbite does at this point. And let's get one Overwatch going. Alright, so that sector will be the next target of Hogbite. And that's one point of damage, but unfortunately not enough to kill it. The Overwatch will not do anything. Because it will be fully wasted in the blasts. And those two will probably finish him. Nice. They are not. Okay, that's a surprise. All right. We gotta hedge our bets. I told you about that one ex uh, one insured point of damage. And we're going to use it right here. If this shot wouldn't have hit we would still very much be able to kill it with a stock. Now, it's time to kill some loss that are actually attacking us. Okay, we're moving to here just to get that extra sweet kill. 100% uh, shot into the head of the Lost Dasher. Afterwards, we're finishing up the Sector, and that'll be a double kill. Easy. And it seems that we're getting out of here without a scratch. Good, perfect. Moving up. Same here. We're moving up. And for now... I'm being a bit cocky. 
got a nice conditioning and an uh, repeater, I think it was. More losses are spawning. Not the end of the world, we can definitely take care of those. Specifically now that we do have access to high ground, should be good to go. Hogbite needs kills, so we're going to give him kills. And that is one dasher. That's another one. Eh, the 93% is not good enough. Instead, let's get this guy and use our mobility to fully move over here. Looks like you found one of the other resistance operatives that was deployed in this area. I'm sure they'll be glad to see you. Oh yeah, they are glad, and they do have a perfect measure against these losts. We're moving up. Alright, no we now. can send in the open against the lost cover is not the most important aspect, but hitting very much is one of the most important aspects. Moving up. Let's use the sniper here, mainly because he has more hit points and also we're not requiring him on the next mission. Okay, that worked well. That on the other hand did not work well. Yeah, a grenade would spawn just even more loss and I don't want that at the moment. So we're taking our chances, unfortunately not killing him. I think we're going to take some damage on the sniper, but that is okay. Alright, Hogbite needs kills in order to level up. And that's three in a row. Gonna move him up here in order to get uh, the VIP. Good, our rookies can continue their onslaught. Reload. Reload. Move up. And we're having a lot of reloads. Good, no more enemies here. Menace one five, you've 
got the primary targets in tow. Secure any additional operatives if possible, but make sure you get our contacts to the evac. Good. And it seems as if we're pretty much on our way to get out of here. Good. That'll be one. And two. And three. And four. And barely five. Good. We don't need to farm the loss. I, this run here is not difficult enough so that I need to resort back to those types of tactics. Normally you can uh, definitely get give everybody just another level with continuously killing them. Specifically if they're respawning, they are worth half an XP point, so half the XP of a normal uh, kill. So you just need to kill a lot of them. That's basically it. Other than that, killed almost 50. Took a minor wound and finished the mission. Good job. Hint, who is landing? It's us. Let's see if Hogbite gets a promotion. <laughs> that is unfortunate, but we got our VIP recovered the engineer plus 80 Intel. That's exactly what we were looking for. Perfect. Perfect. Operating some of our most Great. So, the game is giving us even more classes that we can't use. So, that's a single person excavation, that's a double person excavation. Let's start with a single person excavation. That's 20 days. But we do have uh, the 50% reduction, do, don't we? So that would, would have been 40 days is what you're telling me? Oh, that's hard to believe. Hmm. I was under the impression excavation speed increased by 50%, yeah. Hmm. Okay, it is what it is. We are continuing to make contact. I appreciate that the game is giving us resources, but that's really not the problem at this point. From the next mission onward, the Chosen could appear again, because it's been two missions since we have had her. And this time around, we even got some more intel. Perfect. Good. Gather supplies. I like that here. Resources from scanning are doubled. And could we take some? Yeah, we could take basically anyone on this mission. Although we don't have enough, hmm, it's difficult. We don't have enough resistance orders at this point. I much rather probably would get the additional supplies and call it a day. Counterintelligence would be nice. Weapon upgrades can be used indefinitely. I like it. And the promotion is kind of the icing on the cake. Unfortunately, Hogbite can't take that yet. And we don't have an extra scientist left over. So, hmm, this is good. I like it, but not currently what we are needing. So let's get the supplies. I wish I could use those soldiers, but we can't. Not even for the covert action missions. So 
So yeah, let's get this going. And sincerely hope that we're not going to be ambushed because two rookies against with nothing but their normal rifles against the enemies. That's not going to be fun. All right, got um, enough to build the power relay, which is exactly what we're going to go for. Let's just double check. We don't need to speed that up if we're anyways going to be a bit more delayed. So that requires two staff. That only requires one. Might as well do the excavation here. That way we have more room to work with afterwards. We'll get more resources, much more resources quickly. And we can immediately after the power relay start going for probably the GTS and Proving Grounds and then the middle will be the Psionic Chamber if we have enough time to research it. But yeah, GTS definitely is needed. I need the squad size upgrade. It's getting pretty painful to deal with only four soldiers. Three of which are rookies. We just contact with have sent over all the intel they've collected on the Good. We successfully have spotted out the second chosen, which is not an advantage per se. Oftentimes it is a disadvantage. And let's increase the regional income because that will perpetuate and compound over the uh, next uh, few months so that should uh, that should be uh, pretty valuable we got 120 intel before we do anything let's just check the black market we're going to sell some and I would also really like to get another engineer or another scientist if possible let's first of all see if we can get it a scientist for 110 I think we're going to do that Yeah, let's go for it. Cost us uh, the entire intel, but I think it is worth it. I want to stick with the cores. Sected corpses are still needed. Stun Lancer corpses are not necessarily needed. Good. That is not bad. Another scientist has even further reduced uh, the research time. That's fantastic. So magnetic weapons down to five days. We essentially got six scientists in month number two. So that's definitely a pretty research heavy strategy that we're, uh, that we're using. If we can somewhat keep up with it, we should be soon rewarded by just getting superior technology compared to what the enemies have. And let's take a look at our three options. So, Chosen always attempts to capture uh, soldiers. That's not too bad. 90 intel is okay. It's okay. Supplies and extra armor. And the by far worst reward because we can't use the Grenadier. But a hidden event. I am terrified by the idea of that hidden event. If it is something like, let's say, the black market has closed, then that means we're losing access to the black market permanently. So that's really the the appeal of permanent dark events. You never really fully know what you're getting yourself into. I think we're still probably going for this 90 Intel. We don't need the supplies as much. We still got some on the strategic layer. Uh, the extra padding will suck. Yeah, by thinking about it, I guess we need to counter that. We don't have Shredder yet and that will just make them even more tanky for now. So yeah, we're probably 
we'll probably need to do this one here. Anyways, this is something that I'll decide um, until the next time. And our last topic of today is my constant remark for you to please subscribe and leave a comment down below. And of course, smash that like button because uh, that is how the ch that's the only way how the channel grows because I'm not going to do any more advertisement. It's natural growth um, and whoever likes the channel stays. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.